The latest update for Windows 11 is out and there are a lot of great features, both big and small, that are going to be very useful for learning and teaching. But what if you don't have the new version of Windows 11? What if it didn't automatically update on your system? In this video, I'll show you how you can get the latest version of Windows 11. The most common way that you're going to get the new versions of Windows 11 is Microsoft is going to roll that out to you through Systems Update. Now you can go into Systems Update, it's part of your system settings, you can search for it. And if you go into Windows Update, you can actually go and do a manual check to see if there are any updates for your system. Now, sometimes even doing this, you won't have the latest version because you might have to do a compatibility check for your system before it actually rolls out. So what you can do is you can go to the Microsoft website. If you go to microsoft.com slash software download slash Windows 11, and I'll post the link down below, you have a couple of different options available to you. You have the installation assistant, which will check to see which version of Windows you're running and whether your system is compatible to upgrade to the new version. You can have the installation media. So this is very handy if you want to install across multiple systems. And you can even download the Windows 11 disk image, the ISO file. And I use this quite a bit when I'm building virtual machines. A lot of times when a new version of Windows comes out, I want to test it in advance. So I'll build a virtual machine running that new version, test some of the features out before I commit it to my host system. There are also some system administration tools in there for when I have to deploy, for example, throughout an entire school or a business. If I go to the installation assistant, it will download a little software program, which is the installation assistant. Once that file is downloaded, then what I can do is I can open that file. And when I open that file, it's going to see whether or not the current system I'm running is the latest version of Windows or not. In my case, what's going to happen, let's just click that file there. In my case, what's going to happen because I am running the most current version is it's going to come up with a message simply saying, your device is already running the most current version of Windows 11. But if you're not running the most current version of Windows 11, it will give you the option here to test your system to make sure that it's compatible with Windows 11, the new version, and then you'll have the option of upgrading from there. So now that you have Windows 11, check out this video on one of my favorite new additions and check out this playlist for a whole bunch of other features that are now available.